DJ Pro AI has so many great effects and so many different ways to use them. The only problem is it could get a little confusing, so I'm here to help. All right, so in the app, in order to get to your effects, you're gonna press these buttons down here to the right, and then we are gonna go to the fourth one over, one, two, one, two, three, four, and now we are in our effects, and it is the same thing if you guys like to DJ in pro mode, it's gonna look the same, it's just a little bit smaller there. So for this video, I'm gonna be doing it in classic mode. A couple of different ways to use the effects. There, are, there is the pad, there is instant, and there is manual. Now, they all pretty much do the same thing, which is apply the effects, but it might be a personal preference as to which one is right for you. So the first one is going to be the pad effects. So what this does triggers the effect and then it'll add either a low pass or a high pass and then you could go left to right to intensify or change up what it sounds like. So I'm going to show you an example. Have the song playing. They said I would have made it. So this one is good if you like adding the filters to your effects. Also, you could kind of move your finger to the beat and kind of make the effect match how the song is playing. So if you like to use that, a lot of controllers now have these touch controls, so you might be used to that. So it is a great way to use the effects. It's not the way that I personally use it. I'll show you the one I use in a little bit. Now we have a couple of options up here. This drop down menu is how we're going to access our effects. So you press this drop down menu and we could choose what effect. There are so many effects. I'm not going to show you what all of them sound like because I already did that and put it in a playlist. I'll leave a link to it at the end of the video. But just for a few, you have your essentials, which is like your reverb and your echo. And then we have noise and swap. And there's all these different effects. I definitely suggest trying them all out but you could get to them by going down this drop down menu. Also, if you don't want to go down the whole drop down menu, you could just go left or right over here and it is going to be one over. So phaser is there, bit crusher is next. So bit crusher would be there. So that's how you cycle through. And with the pad effects, you could only use one effect at a time. Now let's go to instant effect. These are instant effects. So when you press it, it's going to apply the effect. So let me show you. So you have six different effects and it may be preloaded different because I changed it a little bit, but in order to change with it, which effects are here, all we have to do is press the pencil button here. This pencil button is how you edit stuff in the app. Press the pencil button and then press the three dots next to the box you want to change. And then we get back to that drop down menu that I showed you and we could put any effect that we want. So I'm just going to switch it to over there. So that's how you change it. You press the three dots, choose whichever effect you want, and then there you go. There's another little hidden feature, which is if you press this hold button on, it's pretty simple. It's just gonna hold. So after you press the effect, it's gonna stay on until you press it again, like this. So that's how you use the instant effects. This is the easiest way to use effects and some controllers like the Hercules control mix, that's the effects that it uses when you press the effects on. So these are great, but again, this is not the one that I use or would recommend using. Here we are at manual. This is the one that I would recommend using. First of all, we could get access to three effects. You could have three effects on at the same exact time. Other DJ softwares may let you use more, but I really don't see a need for using more than three effects at a time. So three effects is what we got. So to turn them on, obviously it's the on button and the off button. Let me just get a, a flanger. So now we have these two controls here. We have a slider and then we have WD on a knob. So what is the WD on? mean on the knob well it stands for wet and dry which really doesn't make that much sense but if you're a beginner dj then basically what it does is if it's all the way 
So it's going to start it all the way cranked to the right. And then the effect is going to be full. It's going to be like turning the volume up on the effect. And now if we turn it all the way to the left. So if it's all the way to the left, you don't hear the effect at all. And then. So if you want to kind of smoothly fade in or fade out an effect, you could use the wet and the dry and it works. Just think of it as a volume knob for your effect. There's other technical explanations for it, but for a beginner, it's just the, the volume. So all the way to the left, off, all the way to the right. Off. So that's pretty much all you have to know. And now what about this slider? What it does is it, changes the the sound changes the frequency kind of makes it more intense so listen to it all the way at the left this is flanger so just think of it as changing what it's going to sound like and some effects uh, some effects sound really good and need you to be adjusting that, such as the scratcher. So listen to the scratcher. They say that you would... If you just turn it on, it sounds kind of weird, but now watch if I do it like this. They say that you would... So with that, you can make pretty cool sounds with the effects, especially with the scratcher effect. So that is what this what this slider does. It took me a while to figure it out, and I still don't know exactly what to call it, but it will change the sound. You can manipulate the sound of your effects, and it sounds really cool. Now, you may notice that not all of them have it. So this one has a slider, and this ping pong delay has, a one, has one beat over there. So some of the effects, such as an echo, are going to be based on the beats. So let's listen to it with one beat. So it will control the amount of beats that are going to be going on in the effect. Usually I don't change it that much. I'll just leave it at the one beat as, as the effect. Now I want to show you some, some more advanced stuff with the effects. So if we go back to this drop down menu that I told you about, it's going to start you in audio effects. And then also if you're using the video mode and you're connected to a projector or something, you have visual effects. Now these effects are only going to control the visualizer. So if you look at visual, look at the visualizer over there. So that's how you control the visual effects. And then there's also audio visual effects, which is going to control the audio and the visual. So the echo. So it's really cool. So not only can you set effects for audio, you could ex set effects for visual and you could set effects for audio visual. And then over here, you could star your effects. Now there's one more hidden feature and that is down here. So now we're on this deck over here. We have an echo. If we go down over here, it's kind of hidden. Deck, now we can change it from an effect for the, from the deck to an effect just for one aspect of Nero Mix. So you could have the effect echo is gonna only be echoing the vocals. And then it lights up green and it looks really cool. So you could do any effect on any deck with the drums, harmonics, or vocals, and then you could switch it back to just be the deck like that. So there you go. Now you know everything you need to know about the DJ Pro AI effects. And if you want to see my review of every single effect in the whole app, check out this playlist here.